fonte que acolhe os que buscam a luz e a sabedoria. Luz que ampara, que ilumina e que nos guia. Palavra que nos conforta e nos enche de energia. Força que nos faz ver no escuro a luz do próximo dia. Estrada iluminada que nos mostra a direção e o caminho. E nos faz sentir seguros, sem medo de andar sozinhos. Buscamos a ti, voamos para o passarinho, enviado do Criador, rebanhando teus filhos por mim. Sou feliz por ouvir teu conselho, por contar com tua mensagem. Quero ser uma ovelha do teu rebanho e da tua pastagem. Quero ver a luz divina refletindo tua imagem e quando vier a tormenta quero no teu abrigo esperar a estiagem. Quero seguir o destino que aponta a tua mão. Quero entrar no canal que mergulha na imensidão para dar os primeiros passos e juntar a tua legião. Escutar as tuas palavras, aprender a nova lição. Pregador das palavras de Cristo, demonstração de humildade. Nosso exemplo presente de amor e de bondade. Nos brinda com a distinção da presença e da caridade. Semeia entre nossas trevas a semente da verdade. Conduz a minha passagem pelos caminhos da fé. Siga sempre minhas pegadas e as marcas do meu pé. Atravessando os desertos onde andaram Maria e José, me levando ao encontro do Rei, o Jesus de Nazaré. For those who believe, no words are necessary. For those who do not believe, no amount of words are sufficient. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters from all over Mother Earths together as one heart on this magnificent Sunday to the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the house of love where the medicine is love. Here in Abidjania in the heart of Brazil. And we never take anything for granted, yet we have another wonderful day here, this gift from God Almighty, to walk the path of the light and to learn these challenging lessons that we have come here on earth to learn in human form. 
we have a deep blue sky always present reminding us of the care protection and love of the cloak of our divine mother mary and a few little white fluffy clouds passing by slowly reminding us that change is constant and we are just travelers here on earth and creation is so alive the birds are serenading us in a divine symphony songs of hope and joy and there are butterflies of all sizes and colors flitting about from flower to flower along with the bumblebees and reminding us of our transformation that we're growing into the magnificent beings that we truly are and there's two cans in the valley their yellow beaks shining in the brilliant sunshine and there's a little family of monkeys too just jumping from tree to tree so we're graced with all of these beautiful beings sent by God to accompany us on this journey and as we settle deeper and deeper into this divine work let's be as comfortable as we possibly can relaxing as most, much as possible wherever you are just remember not to cross your body in any way and let's put our intention into be open to receive if you'd like to sit upright with our heads elevated just a little so this energy can flow fluidly freely and easily through each and every one of us like a river a current of love and light connecting us right across the globe as one family children of God and if you remember to put a glass of water beside you this will be blessed and at the end of the work we will drink it to nourish our mind body and spirit as we go forth into the world to multiply this beautiful high vibration of love and light and as we close our physical eyes we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is we are leaving the material world behind and connecting with our true home beyond the veil and today we are celebrating all of the entities of light and love these magnificent beings sent by our creator to help us guide us protect us and love us always but in these particular darker days on earth reminding us that we're not alone and we have so much help from our true home beyond the veil the word entidade is a portuguese word used for a supernatural being invisible spirit or a non-physical entity most had human form when they lived upon the earth and they're from all walks of life, from very diverse backgrounds. They're not all saints. There's an infinite amount of elevated beings, some spirit doctors, angels, archangels, guardian angels, helping spirits, 
messengers of God. And they're from all creeds, colours and backgrounds. And they know no borders, time or space, reminding us that God is everywhere and in everything. And as Brazil is a Catholic country, most of them were Christian uh, when they were on earth. But we can re resonate with any of these elevated beings that are here for our benefit. We couldn't feature them all in today's picture, but from the top left hand corner, we see Saint Rita reminding us to God, all things are possible. And beside her is Saint Francis. It is in forgiven, forgiving that we are forgiven. Jose Penteado is there an incorporated entity. His words are love, support, healing. Joseph Alavino, a very popular entity, also incorporated. He was very fond of Mother Mary. He's the protector of families and he's very, very good with wheelchair users and anybody who has a back problem, spine problem, leg problem. He's always available to us. And he says to us, you are never alone. And one of the most popular entities of the Casa, Dr. Augusto, reminding us that my phalange is not 10 or 100. It is thousands and thousands of helping spirits sent by our creator to help us. And Dr. Augusto reminds us, I will go to the depths to save one soul. This is how much compassion and love the entities have for us. And of course we have Dom Ignacio, one of the co-patrons of the Casa with Saint John the Baptist, reminding us that knowing God is more important than knowing about God. Oswaldo Cruz was a brilliant Brazilian physician discovering a vaccine for yellow fever. And he tells us, please go into this process more consciously. This is not a vacation. Bezira de Menezes, the doctor of the poor, when his presence is felt he comes with the smell of ether. Andre Lewis tells us, your life will always be a reflection of your thoughts. Any real life change will only take place after you change your way of thinking. Sister Sheila was a dedicated nurse in World War II and she works with love, mercy and grace. Emmanuel is Chico Xavier's spiritual guide, mentor and advisor. And he reminds us that there's three things we need for the spiritual path. The first is discipline. The second is discipline. And the third, you guessed it, is discipline. Next up is Euphoridus Barsanofa, a Brazilian journalist, politician, educator, pharmacist and spiritist medium. He had a profound love for our brother Jesus. He tells us that joy and love are the most important parameters of being human. And then we have Ramatist. His photo was in the first current room, the cleansing room of the Casa. And he, in his past lives, 
was an advisor to King Solomon. He was a son of Moses and he was Jesus's bodyguard. And there's so many other entities that are not featured here from all religions, different uh, uh, spiritual uh, vibrations, and also just here to help us on our journey back home into the celestial fields. And of course, our mother Mary and our brother Jesus, always present in the casa. So let us seize this opportunity now to open this work with all of this infinite amount of healing spirits to help us. And our brother Jesus reminding us that when a few are called in his name, he will be present. And Jesus gave us all a beautiful gift, bestowing upon his 12 apostles, the very high vibration of the Lord's Prayer that has come down to us through the ages, teaching us how to pray, how to talk to God, our Father, how to bring heaven to earth, how to forgive ourselves and others, and how to open our hearts and to appreciate and be in gratitude for all of creation. Let us pray with open hearts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation rather deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory now and forever amen and to our divine mother mary the mother's heart the feminine power mother earth queen of peace we ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us your children to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity to help us to go on this journey of the heart and to find the peace the harmony the tranquility the love the forgiveness, the gratitude, the joy, the humility, deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation, into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us children now and at the hour of our passing. Amen.
God is not a religion. God is a relationship. And when we suffer, and there's no part of the human condition that doesn't involve some kind of suffering, and now particularly on Earth, we are challenged much more than we have been. We look outside ourselves for help. Only we alone can do it, but we cannot do it alone. And bidden or not, God is always present. The architect of the cosmos. The creator. of love within us and around us in these difficult days and we pray to invoke all of these entities elevated beings angels archangels guardian angels to come from the higher planes to somehow alleviate our suffering helping us to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. To surrender to the will of God. Thy will be done, not my will. And Dom Ignacio, the patron of the casa, is always there for us. helping us. Let us pray. To help us all to surrender to the will of God Almighty. Lord Jesus Christ, Take and receive all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All 
that I have and cherish, you have given me with love. And with love, I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your wealth and your love are enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask for nothing more. And so be it. Amen.
all is in divine order. We are exactly where we're meant to be here now on planet Earth. This tiny little orb floating in an infinite universe that we call home for now. And there's no coincidences, no accidents. There's a reason why we're back here on Earth. We've had many lifetimes together and we were all called under the banner of the Casa de Dominatio to help with our involvement and the involvement of life on Earth. And we've never had so much help available to us. We are shifting dimensions. And all of these beautiful entities of light and love from all different backgrounds, belief systems, a lot of them are working with the Christ consciousness. And as Brazil is a Catholic country, the Christian principles really stand out here. And we have a beautiful entity called Chico Xavier, who instructed Medium Drow to build a casa on the sacred ground of Abhijanya. And he psychographed over 400 books from the spirit world. The most famous being Nosalar, a very good account of life beyond the veil when we leave this physical world behind and are liberated into our true home in the celestial fields. But first we must walk the path here on earth and it has fraught the human condition with a lot of difficulties. And Chico Xavier in one of his writings gave us a very good guide on how to live a Christian life. Here are his words helping us on our path home. Always help. Do not fear, never despair, learn incessantly, think often, meditate more, speak little. Correct lovingly. Work happily. Direct sensibly. Obey contentedly. Do not complain. Go forward, observe beyond, look ahead, discuss serenely, shed light, sow peace. Spread blessings, struggle elevating, be happy, live confidently, show 
show courage. Reveal calmness. Respect everything. Pray trustingly. Be watchful with benevolence. Go forth progressing on the path. Serve today and await tomorrow.
smiling happily now. Let's relax a little bit more into our physical bodies. Taking a deep, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Let's be open to receive after giving of our positive loving energies. As you give, so it will be given you. We are now receiving a deep, deep, profound cleansing from these infinite beings of light and love, all of these messengers, entities sent by God to help us, always available to us. This is a unique opportunity now to surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, anything that seems insurmountable, our fears, our pain, our rage, our hurt, our anger, our grudges, our resentments, our lack of gratitude, lack of humility, anything that is blocking us or holding us back from stepping into the light, the very essence of our being transmuting all of this darker energy into divine light as we become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, unburdened, more at peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, Let's visualize a waterfall like the waterfall here at the Casa or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant flowers being kissed by beige floras and bumblebees. Birds of paradise serenading us in a divine symphony. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you. And bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is a time of true forgiveness, of surrendering anything that's blocking us from stepping into the light, becoming lighter. There has never been a better time to do this work. And this is why we have come back to Mother Earth, to do this work of liberation. Now is the time. And we've never had more help. So let's seize this opportunity, knowing that we're greatly taken care of by the entities. And let's bring into this high vibration anyone who's particularly struggling now in these challenging days, suffering from depression, desolation, isolation, 
lack of faith, feeling abandoned, homeless, and also let's bring into this high vibration anyone who is traveling. It's very stressful now and for our professionals who are up in the air, who are working, Let's bring our brother medium to this high vibration. And anyone who has suffered or who is suffering on account of the problems at the Casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this magnificent cleansing, healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious gift of cleansing, healing energy into our open hearts, filling us up to overflowing, let's share it with the world, bringing it into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, anyone who's in a caring capacity on Mother Earth in these pivotal days. Allowing it to pour forth into nursing homes, helping our elders, hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, migrant camps, happy to liberate our brothers and sisters, recognizing that we're all the same family, children of God. Anywhere and everywhere on Mother Earth that our brothers and sisters are suffering, in pain or are hungry, Letting this beautiful high vibration pour forth now into all war zones, anywhere there's unrest, riots, disharmony, bringing peace in our lifetime. Remembering the words of our sister, Saint Rita of Cassia, to God, all things are possible. This God light now gushing forth into the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being. Helping them to realize our divine essence, children of God, to make good decisions about our future and the future of earth. for generations to come, to put people before profit. This pristine, crystal clear energy pouring forth now into our ecosystems, regenerating, renewing, recalibrating, <laughs> nourishing, Already, Mother Earth is bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. And in this sacred moment now, this cleansing, healing energy enveloping Gaia, multiplying, expanding, growing, cleansing and healing all sentient beings as it pours forth into infinity. May all beings be happy 
and at peace. Amen.
to overflowing. With God's love, we are his children. We are in gratitude to God Almighty for another day on earth. To learn these challenging lessons and for helping us to realize that we are not alone. He has sent us so many messengers, angels, archangels, guardian angels, elevated beings. Ascended Masters, all of these entities of light and love, with us every inch of this journey, holding us, protecting us, loving us. We just need to reach out and ask them to help. And they are there. Thank you. And as always, thank you to our beautiful brother Jesus. Who many of the entities were dedicated to the Christ consciousness, Prince of Peace, and to our Divine Mother Mary also always with us, their sacred hearts beaming out their unconditional love and light to us here on earth. <laughs> <laughs> and of course all of our creatures, our animals, we send love to them in the spirit of St. Francis of Assisi always with us also and we are reminded of God's all-encompassing love in that there is an entity in the Casa who identified himself as just love Let us pray. There is no difficulty that enough love will not conquer. No disease that enough love will not heal. No door that enough love will not open. No gulf that enough love will not bridge. No wall that enough love will not throw down. No sin that enough love will not redeem. It makes no difference how deeply seated may be the trouble, how hopeless the outlook, or how knotted the tangle. A sufficient realization of love will dissolve it all. If only we could love enough, we would be the happiest and most powerful beings in the world. Amen. Yes. 
love, loving, love. Namaste.